And uh, we will see a Vlad's up on Lycan. Ventral Spirit with Boots and Magic Wand. Weaver with the Treads and Perseverance. Um, no Ultimate Orb or anything at this point of the game. And Queen of Pain going for a early Ogrex, so maybe going for that BKB. M possibly, more probably, going for an early Ag Scepter. And uh, we will see Lycan finding some Centaur War Chiefs in the jungle. And uh, going to be going to be interesting to see what exactly um, he goes for next. Possibly just a BKB up against the Lion, which is a heavy disabler, but the Beastmaster Raw does go through BKB, so maybe going to try and go for something a bit more tanky oriented, um, although BKB does give some much needed HP to him. It is sort of the uh, logical progression, and then from there, going for an Assault Crest or a Heart, something to tank up with, and uh, meanwhile continuing toward is this Ventral Spirit, who is just getting some great map control for Mithrust, making it very hard for Star Spoba to move around the map or try gank because these Obs Wards and Sentries, they can also pre prevent smoke ganks because those Sentry Wards are being put down on the map. And we do see Blink Dagger being purchased by Puck. That's l 3 and U who's just having a great game at this top lane. There's three kills, no death yet. Queen of Pain being played by Arba is three kills and one death. And so far, so good for Mythrust. Is there anything to stop them? It's going to be up to Starsbo, but they're going to have to start coming up with some answers here if they are to cause some kind of upset. And uh, we will see Queen of Pain even pressuring this top tower. The Tier 2 tower will blink out because Naga Siren is uh, not, not something that really Queen of Pain can go up against, especially uh, Naga Siren with Hassan. So it looks to be Hassan Jinyasha that's going to be built on the Naga Siren. Unless Naga Siren wants to go for the new item, which is the um, Heaven's Halberd, which gives evasion as well as the disarm. Um, let's see if I can exactly find it, find out what it does for you guys. Heaven's Halberd, plus 20 strength, plus 25 damage, plus 25 percent evasion, lesser maim, which is essentially the Sanj effect, where you slow them and they take extra damage, and disarm, which means they cannot attack. They can still move, it doesn't disable them, it just stops them from right-click attacking. It's kind of like Deafening Blast and that it disarms them. Uh, meanwhile, bottom lane, we see a fissure coming down. I think it was actually looking... I'm um, not actually sure what it was looking for, maybe uh, some summons or something. But uh, top lane, we do see another kill as Naga Siren goes down, immediately actually buys back. And I don't think this Naga Siren is too pleased with how this game is going. And Stars Boba are starting to go on tilt here, I feel. Lycan, meanwhile, has 2.2k gold at this point. Oh, a nice, well-placed finish. Fissure will block off this Ventral Spirit. And CMES are there. There's a big line finger. Stars Boba pick up a kill. Weaver is in the neighborhood, though, and he's going to be uh, looking to punish anyone, especially with that swarm, which lowers the armor so much, but is forced to back off. The Beastmaster Roar is reason enough to uh, back off and uh, start getting scared, as uh, we do see Stars Boba looking to maybe head into the enemy jungle. They've got this water. They've denied myth of any vision near this bottom river, so they can, they will go for Roshir, and uh, I think they can actually do this, they have no, Sentinel don't have any vision of this, there's a Scout Hawk, but that's the Scourge team, that's their Beastmaster Hawk, and I think Mythrust are actually somewhat mm, clueless as to this Roshan. We see a Necrobook up on the line, he's going to just send it out to Scout, throw a Mana Burn at the Weaver, but Right now, Mythrust do not know what's up, but now they do. The Lycan Wolves are here. They've scouted this, and they may even try to steal it. The Lycan Wolves can either kill um, someone, or sorry, not kill, kill the Roshan, or even even kill the Agent. And here we do see big AoE coming in. Mythrust going to clean up. Big Queen of Pain AoE. Mythrust gets caught out. Three go down. Four going to go down. Naga Siren will go down. And this is a Roshan steal for Mythrust, as they absolutely decimate the Stars Boba team with... Four kills, only one survivor is that Earthshaker, and Stars Boba just playing, making, taking a huge risk going for that Roshan attempt there, and uh, it not paying off whatsoever, as we have another save coming out, and a 16-4 to 4 kill swing in this game, as Mythrust are leading the way into complete control. We see a Necrobook up on Lycan, he's going to be going all in for some kind of aggressive push using those Necrobooks, and... Uh, that is going to be an interesting strat, not something you often see pull, pulled off or used, but right now Mythtrust are feeling so confident they're even going to go for this Raxia, I feel. 
or at least maybe chip away at it. Um, the entire Stars Boba team has respawned, actually. They are such low level that they actually respawn fairly quickly. No one is... All of them are below level 10 at this point, um, as opposed to the Sentinel team. Level 13, Queen of Pain, has a BKB. Level 12 on Weaver. Puck, level 12. There's such a big level difference. Even Lycan is level 12. All these heroes, 12, 12, 13, and 12. Only Eventual Spirit is low level at level 7 as a support hero. The Scourge team, on the other hand, one hero level 10 is the Naga Siren, and then they've got level 9s and level 7. So a big experience advantage, a big gold advantage, tower advantage, and farm advantage for Myth Trust at the moment, which Sars Boba are going to have to start coming up with some answers for. Um, th that Crow dying at top, getting very close to dying at least, would have been a, a nice start, as they do give 150 gold to each opposing team's players. Uh, but Lion is now smoked at bottom with the ES. CM is the bait, apparently, as Lion and ES are going into the enemy jungle. Maybe going to look for this Ventral Spirit, but right now, it's just going to be a all-in mid-push coming out from Mithras, maybe. But they do find the Naga Siren. BKB is popped, and that's not going to actually sleep this Queen of Pain, by the looks of it. As uh, Queen of Pain actually gets caught a bit in trouble, taking some big damage from all those illusions. The Naga Siren illusions get Queen of Pain down to red HP, and uh, Beastmaster will get taken out. Lycan comes in, takes that one. Is there any more to find? It could be the ES, and it looks like it will be as ES... Uh, throws down a fissure, there's an impale to follow as uh, Weaver has caught up and is going to start right clicking away on the lion, the ES, and the wolves, the necrobooks, they're all coming in. Weave, sorry, lion in trouble as he throws off a finger but not going to do a whole lot as ES coming in as well does get taken out. Double kills the fiddler, kills the Weaver, and Naga Siren gets swapped back into the middle of the fight and another kill as L3NU, that's the puck, gets his sick kill of the game. He is unstoppable, guys, and Myth Trust. They look unstoppable as well. Queen of Pain not even participating in those fights. Just doing some farming and uh, <laughs> pushing of his own at the bottom lane as we will see this mid racks under fire very, very soon. The tier 3 tower just about to go down. Three Scourgers are dead. Two of them just respawn now. It's only the one, the Snaga Siren, who is still dead. But these heroes just don't have the firepower to defend. We see Necrobook 2 up on Lycan and uh, this... Rax, Melee Rax is in serious danger of going down very, very quickly here. The Queen of Pain, the Weaver, doing some range DPS. Lycan is backed off. ES goes into the middle of it, throws an ultimate. Queen of Pain blinks in with BKB, but he's been roared. He's going to find himself in a bit of trouble here. going to have to escape as quickly as he can, but gets ensnared. And Naga Siren going to go do some right click damage there, but it's not enough as both L3 and U and. and T and K get a couple kills, but then finally the puck does go down after seven unanswered kills. Meanwhile, Lycan does manage to finish off the racks, gets ensnared though, does have Aegis here. He's going to be back with a vengeance. Weaver is still there, full HP, plenty of mana, and this is not going well for Stars Boba as 21 minutes in, they have lost their middle racks and uh, have some serious questions to ask. How can we win this game? What do we do? Where do we go from here? And, uh, I mean, it's just... The mentality, the positive mentality just isn't there. You see Naga Saren buying back at silly times. I mean, it's going for a Sarge, a rather unconventional item. It's just all around sloppy play coming from Stars Boba, who are just not taking that solid play. They, they had such solid play in the group stage, and they're not taking it forward into the playoffs here, as uh, they seem to be falling apart a bit in, in the playoffs. This first game against Mistrust is just not going at all in their favor and uh, going to be a quick, quick trip to the loser brackets where they will meet the uh, other Thai team, Neolution Esports, who recently lost to Mineski. And uh, that's not going to be uh, an easy match for them. They're going to have to really change their game plan, change their mentality if they, are wanna, if they do want to come out on top there as well. But right now they do still have a slight glimmer of hope they're only down by one set of racks. Weaver has Link Lincolns, though. Lycan is going to have a Necrobook 3 flying out, and uh, there's just so much farm on these Sentinel heroes. You see Puck with a Blink Dagger halfway to his sh Sheep Stick, and uh, just a big, big ask now if, for Myth Trust to actually lose this game. It would take some kind of serious screw-up on their part. Queen of Pain getting his Sheep Stick up. He's only 1,200 gold away from it, more than halfway to his, so they're going to have a couple Sheeps on Puck and Queen of Pain. Weaver with Lincolns. Lycan with some huge damage coming out of his Vlad's Medallion and Necrobook 3. and uh, Well, Necrobook 2, sorry, but he's got enough gold for that Necrobook 3. Probably we'll see him pick that up very, fairly short, shortly. Um, it is flying, yep, it is flying out. So he's got Necrobook 3 and then 2k gold, 2.5k gold, in fact, on top of that. 
So Mythtrust really playing some very solid Dota at the moment. Lycan does pick up that Necrobook 3, and they are just going to go in for this Rats, I believe, here. And I just don't think Sarsbo will have the answers, and oh, Lion gets jumped on by the Puck. Queen of Pain, big Queen of Pain ultimate. Queen of Pain popping the BKB. The Roar goes down, not going to do a whole lot. Weaver goes in. Beastmaster will be soon to fall as well, as Weaver is chasing. Not going to actually fall, though, as he backs off, and it's going to be just all about pushing as Naga Siren pops the ultimate as a last-ditch effort to save his own life. And uh, we will see, yes, big, big ultimate dust only takes out some creeps by looking at his puck, sorry, puck, Queen of Pain escapes on red HP, and now Lycan going to go back, finish off the business, which is this last tier 3 tower at bottom, well, sorry, the only tier 3 tower at bottom. Um, there is still another tier 3 tower at top, and bottom racks will probably go down here as well, as Stars Boba just don't seem to have the defense there, and this is going to be a very quick and easy GG coming from Myth Trust as they're going to be moving forward to the winner bracket finals where they're going to beat Mineski. The Mineski and Myth Trust rivalry will continue as the two teams have met so many times. They met at SMM where they played for that fourth place match. Um, Myth Trust losing, getting, well, Myth Trust lost, got the fourth place, and Mineski went on to play for the loser bracket final where they ended up losing and getting third place. So. Mineski getting the better of Mythcrust last time at SMM, but this rivalry will continue. They also played recently in a uh, Thailand tourna land tournament where Mineski came first as well. Mythcrust, I believe, got second or third place. And uh, Mineski seemed to have Mythcrust number as their last couple meetings. Mythcrust has fallen to Mineski. So going to be inter interesting to see just what... Myth Trust have up their sleeves going into this winning bracket final as it looks like this game is done and dusted. They're going to be in that winning bracket finals. A meeting with Mineski coming up soon, guys. It's going to be live here as uh, Myth Trust have proven that they are a team with great consistency, great performance here, and this was a very convincing win for them over, over Stars Bow. But one of the sort of uh, legendary Vietnamese teams. GG is called from Yuna and GG all around as uh, Myth Trust go into the winning brackets finals. Stars Boba are going to be playing in the loser bracket. They still can come through and get that first place money, uh, but there's money as money as well for second and third place, so they are going to still try fight their way as far through the loser bracket as they can, and who knows, maybe they'll find themselves in a place where they can play for that grand final money, as uh, all these teams do try to compete for their share of the 30,000 US dollars in this Gigabyte Esports tournament. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, 